Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 46-year-old female who felt her knee pop, and now she has knee pain, and she has a classic example of a transient patellar dislocation. And all you really need are these axial images here to see what's going on. We see a prominent impaction injury of the kneecap here along the medial side. The medial patella has cortical impaction, prominent marrow edema, and there's a corresponding bone contusion over here on the non-weight-bearing lateral femoral condyle. So the kneecap popped out of the joint and hit way over here and hit with such force that it impacted the cortex of the femur and impacted the cortex of the patella where it hit. The medial patellar retinaculum and patellofemoral ligament are always injured in these cases. It's just thick and ill-defined, so partially torn. And also we have a little bit of lateral patellar subluxation and lateral patellar tilt. And the other thing we notice is the trochlea. There's kind of a congenitally shallow trochlear sulcus. Usually there's a deeper V here. Here it's very shallow, so this patient has patellofemoral instability. Instead of sitting deep within that uh, trochlea, it's very shallow and it's um, easy for the patella to sublux. And so these are all the classic findings. Now, the things to look out for are um, displaced chondral fragments. So we look over the patella. Is there a piece of cartilage gone or is there a hunk of bone gone? Do we see anything floating in the joint? And we do not. So this is just an example of a recent transient patellar dislocation with all the classic findings, easily um, diagnosed just on these axial images. Thank you very much.